Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about can I watch her Instagram stories and this is a no contact rule video so if you are applying the no contact rule can you still watch her Instagram stories? Okay, so if it was me, I wouldn't, right? The whole point of the no contact rule is they should be getting no notification from you whatsoever. And I know, like, a story, you know, when people look at their stories and look at their views on stories isn't necessarily a notification, but they, when they open up that story and they look to see who's looked, they're still going to see your name, right? And that is still going to make them remember you, think about you, and things like that. And they should be getting nothing from you whatsoever. Because sometimes the best thing to make someone think about you a lot is if you just disappear, okay? So if you're not looking at their stories, right? That is a better... You you being missing from their list of people that's watched the stories is going to confuse them, okay? Especially if you've been watching them already before. So no, I wouldn't watch their stories. Um, I wouldn't do that. You should be. They should be receiving nothing from you. They should not see their name, your name pop up on their phone at all, okay? Because one of the first things that people do, and I do this as well, when I ever create a story on Instagram, although recently I've stopped doing that, um, when I create a story on Instagram, I instantly, when I open that, that story, I instantly go and see who's looked at it, okay? So, you know, it's not, because I'm sure that they are probably looking at who's watched their stories, and you want to be scarce, you don't want to be there, you don't want to be, you don't, you want to look so busy and so interesting that you don't even have time to watch other people's stories, Okay? And um, if you want to apply the no contact rule properly, that's what I suggest that you do. You don't watch her stories, okay? Because um, as long as she's seeing your name pop up, she is being reminded of you. You want to become scarce. You want to appear like you've just vanished out of thin air, basically. Because that's what's going to make her want to reach out to you if she still loves you and cares about you. Because if she still cares about you, if she's still interested in you, and she's not hearing from you, you're not even watching her stories them and she still likes you and cares about you what she's going to realize she's going to think oh i'm losing him or i'm losing her so i've got to reach out i've got to be the one to do something right because i've lost them they're, they're not reaching out to me they're not even watching my stories anymore what do i do how do i get them back i'm worried that i'm going to lose them i know i need to reach out to them i'm gonna reach i'm gonna contact them right they may test the waters they may try at first like liking some of your posts or watching your stories um, until they actually eventually do reach out. Um, but if they're not interested in you anymore, then you'll just never hear from them, okay? And that's fine, okay? Because th the, the good news is, is that you're either going to get this person back, you, they're either going to become more interested in you, or you're going to find someone a lot better, right? And I hope that you're going to find someone a lot better. I hope you're going to upgrade, find someone who's better looking than them, find someone who is more healthy than them, find someone who um, you can have a better relationship with than them, right? Um, but if not, you may get them back, okay? So just let that kind of thought relax you. Now, if you've already been watching their stories um, and you're worried that, oh no, am I back at square one? I don't think you viewing their stories is quite as powerful as perhaps you liking one of their posts or you actually reaching out to them especially and messaging them. It's not as powerful as that, but it's still something, right? So if you have been watching their stories, just mute them. There's a, I think you can do that on Instagram, and I think you can do that on Facebook as well, and other places where you can view stories. You can mute someone so you don't have to see them. Um, you don't have to see their stories. Um, so I recommend doing that and not viewing their stories anymore, which I know can be difficult. It's very tempting when you see that they've released a new story to not, to not look at it, um, but... If you want to apply the no contact rule properly, then I suggest that you do, um, because that's going to help, basically. That's going to help you see, basically, if they're actually going to come back or not. But what you got to remember, though, is that you don't know for sure if they're going to come back, right? If you're applying the no contact rule, it's not a fail-proof thing. It's not a fail-proof way of getting someone back, okay? Because if they've lost all interest in you, then they're no, the, no amount of no contact is going to solve that. Okay, but if they do have some feelings for you left and they do have some romantic feelings and they still care about you, they will reach out to you eventually. 
okay but the point is is that you don't know if that's going to happen or not and because you don't know that's going to happen or not it's best to move on with your life right don't worry too much about these sort of like micro interactions that you're having on instagram or facebook about who's viewing whose story and you know things like that you know try to take all those kinds of like micro things off your mind because i feel like if you're thinking and you're worrying too much about who's viewed my story and who's uh, oops i accidentally viewed theirs or should i view theirs it can lead you into a bit of an obsessive nature by obsessing too much about those little tiny things that don't really matter that much so what i recommend that you do is to try and find some other things that you can do to avoid basically beyond being on social media too much I'm not going to say cut out of social media and let that be it because if you have like habits with social media like let's say you check Instagram and Facebook before you go to bed each night then um, if you stop doing that there's going to be a void right so instead why not listen to a meditation or something like that on YouTube or um, watch my videos or someone else's videos or something like that so whenever you have your required social media time trying to fill the void with something else something that's actually going to be beneficial to you that's going to be good for you so it could be reading a book it could be um, watching motivational videos um, it could be uh, listening to a meditation um, or it could be just simply sitting in bed and reading or something like that or it could be working on a project so try and find a way to fill that time that you would use for social media like extorting your ex's profile or um, whoever this person may be right so avoid those habits that keep you stuck like you know overanalyzing things on instagram and and your interactions with your ex because it's going to keep you stuck and it's going to keep you obsessing over it basically obsessing over the situation and i definitely don't want that for you so try and replace those habits with something that are a bit more empowering um, and spend less time on social media by doing something different okay um and also you know just try to move on because you don't it's it's not a good idea to just wait by the phone hoping that they're going to message you or you're crossing the days off the calendar you know you're counting how many days you've been in no contact and things like that that's not going to help you it really isn't it's just going to keep you stuck it's going to keep you obsessed so find some goals for yourself that are meaningful to you like perhaps you want to get a six pack or something like that or perhaps you want to um, start your own business or perhaps you um you know want want to write a book or something you know start working on your dreams right because that's going to make you feel really good about yourself and it's going to stop you obsessing over your ex as much now of course you will have some good days you will have some bad days um some days will feel more easier than others some days you'll be really missing them and you'll feel really sad and other days you'll feel okay um and when you've got to a place where your feelings are less intense and uh, you're having more good days than bad days and perhaps you haven't had a few bad days in a while, that's when you know you can start perhaps dating and seeing new people, right? Because like I said, there's no guarantee that you're ever actually going to hear from your ex again if you apply the no contact rule, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com and if you'd like me to discuss something in a future video, this was a video from a viewer who wrote down in the comments, um, then please do the same and you'll get a video like this one if it's something that I feel like I have experience in, <laughs> I've seen myself um, or it, it's uh, something perhaps I haven't even spoken about before. So thank you so much for watching um, and I shall talk to you guys again very soon and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs>